perfect. So then you want to click the thart rifle here and the mag here. You're going to drag all the way around and then you're going to press Control and J. That's going to merge them all together so that you can make a skin on it. You're going to get to data. You're going to go to UV map. You're going to press the plus. You're going to hit that. There we go. That camera icon. Then you're going to go to UV editing and you're going to do the same thing. Hold all then middle mouse button and drag it to the position you want or you can press these x y's and whatnot and i want it on y so once you do that you want to press u and then you want to press project from view and then that's going to put it now you want to take the image that you just drew and in this case it's going to be this one for me and then you want to put it there now you want to press a this is going to select all right here and then you want to press G to move your model. Now you want to press S to resize the model. You want to press G again and you want to get it to fit in the boundaries. So let's see if I can get this almost first try maybe. Uh, we need a little bit bigger. A little bit smaller now. Maybe a little bit bigger and maybe that'll be perfect. I don't know. Nope. It's, this is something that's going to take a while to get used to for me, but I think we have it all within the boundary now. Perfect. Now we want to go to texture paint. You're going to do texture slots, press uh, material, and then click single image. You want to press new, and my picture was 2000 by 2000, so I'm going to make my width and height 2000 by 2000, and then that's going to complete that. Now you want to zoom out. You want to click this again, what you were just at. You want to switch it from UV map 001 to UV map. That's going to give you your file. Then you want to go to clone right here. You want to go to the uh, right side and you want to click clone from paint slot. You're going to bring that menu down and then you're going to look for first Poxel skin or whatever your image file is going to be called. Then you want to go here and also do that right there. Put it on that file. Now, to make it a little bit easier, you can go to options and toggle these off. And then when you click, it's going to show everything that you have right there. And you can hold it down. It's going to take a lot more computer processing to do it like that. While this way, it doesn't take any processing. But once you're finished, you can do all your editing. Make sure it looks perfect for you to your critique. Because some people are going to be a lot more critical than others. And you want to make sure your skin's perfect. Or as perfect as possible when you submit it to get into the game. Um, this is just a basic uh, skin that I made. Um, but this is how it looks. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. So what you can do though. Is if you want to perfect it. We can take an orange. So you can go to your brush. And you can actually just uh, paint in Blender. So we're going to take this. And we're going to bring it up quite a bit. Until it's about the same there we go and we're just gonna go right across like that and that's gonna get rid of any of the stretch marks as well which is good and we're gonna go here and then we're gonna go back and just make sure we paint over it like that and there we go and now it pretty much had somewhat of an effect that we wanted it to be where it just splits the image so it's on one side rather than all the way through. Um, like I said, it really doesn't matter. Um, you have your own specifics and how you would like to do it. I think it matters most on this stock where it's stretched out a lot. So let's go ahead and go there and just get rid of that to the best of our ability. There we go. Boom. Perfect. I like that. That looks good on that side and it looks good on that side. Now, if you want, you can do it right over here as well, which I do want to do it, so I will. And then that's going to get rid of any stretch on the stock, which is just going to make the skin look a little bit better by getting rid of that. Um, you have some stretch on the handle. You can get rid of that if you wanted to. Any stretch marks that you want to get rid of, you might as well get rid of them. Um, anything that you think is going to make the skin look bad. Just so that you have a perfected skin. So when it gets into the game, it is good to go. And hopefully people will like it. 
But anyway, once you get that done, you can take your screenshots, which is what I'm gonna do. Take some screenshots of there. Um, take a screenshot right there. And then you can go to the Discord for Poxel.io and you can go ahead and show it off in the general chat if you wanted to. There we go, we can put it right there. But you can also go to the Poxel Creative Hub and you can post it right into Showcase Skin so that people can see it. And wham bam, that's how you make a skin on Poxo.io. I hope you enjoyed.